Hey, we'll see how everything goes. Uh, if the heater kicks on in my basement real quick, I'll probably end the video shortly. shortly. Um, otherwise, Sergeant America coming at you. Boom! Not going to be overly loud. Uh, everybody's sleeping upstairs. It's uh, 3 in the morning here. I'm still running on my wacky schedule. You can kind of see that I just woke up, decided to start sorting my comics a little bit. <clears throat> Some comics I have been interested in talking with people about. Uh, Nick Fury, the uh, Nick Fury younger, Nick Fury Jr. Uh, this was an excellent spy series. Uh, this one was all about Nick Fury um, Jr. Uh, kind of following in some of his father's footsteps. Uh, <clears throat> there is a antagonist, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> uh, who is a Hydra agent, and uh, her name is Nikki something. Um, it was a good uh, foil for Nick Jr. here. Uh, this is uh, ACO art, and so I was really happy to jump on that one. Uh, that's what really drew me in. So it is a pop of color in that. Um, the, each one is like a self-contained little spy episode, and then there's kind of a slow overarching uh, storyline amongst all of them between Nick and this other one. So it's spy versus spy on a larger front. So... Uh, definitely enjoyable. Uh, like I said, that ACO art, if you've ever seen ACO art, is just phenomenal in here. It's just popping and jumping. Uh, you may be able to hear my kitty complaining because it wants out. Um, but uh, once again, like I said, I mean, it's just... Oh, this is going to be one awful video, isn't it? All right, anyway, so definitely a recommend. I hope people start reading that one. Also, uh, I would recommend Deadpool and uh, The Mercs for Money. I've definitely enjoyed this series too, uh, mainly because of the cast, as you can see there. I mean, I'm a big fan of Ken Hale, Gorilla Man, uh, Hit Monkey, uh, Machine Man, uh, Quake. Oh, no, that's not Quake. That was uh, from the movie too. Uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, that's who it is. Because that's really kind of what all this centers around, is uh, uh, people want Negasonic because of some crimes that she's committed. Uh, it's heading into a war that everybody will destroy the mutants. If uh, she's not turned over, Dead Deadpool, of course, doesn't want to turn her over because of his love for her and uh, her friendship for her. So... Uh, this is Colin Bunn written, uh, but the uh, Coelho art uh, was also really what nailed me on this one. So pretty much, you know, what you see on the cover is what you get inside. So it's wonderful in humans crossover at the end. Uh, this one built to accumulation of like, what if she, if Negasonic became the mutant messiah, and. Uh, uh, it was actually, that was the least favorite part of the whole thing. Uh, the uh, Domino taking over the crew and basically making it a uh, payable Mercs for hire kind of uh, company is what actually was made it great. And just the interaction amongst the characters. Uh, this is the team book I've been looking for for a long time. So definitely enjoyed those. Uh, I'm sure the heater's going to kick on shortly. And this is my first video in a long time. As you can hear, I've got some issues to work through. So I will be doing that. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, of course, since I'm working wacky hours and sleeping horrible hours, I still hope to see everybody uh, and eventually jump back tonight where I can talk on Travis Oddfellow Thoughts show, uh, comic book round table. Until then, me and Peanut uh, wish you a good